Right, so hello and welcome back to Books and Things. Today I'm going to be doing a tag video for you all. Today I'm going to be doing the Learning Lit Tag. This was created by Claire from Books and Questions who also tagged me. She referred to this as a tag-ish video, a loose tag video. Basically the idea is just to talk about your experience of studying literature at school or at university and what that meant to you. It's pretty broad, which I quite like. So I thought what I would do is talk a little bit about the classes and the various different modules I took in literature and English literature at university and then talk about a few books where studying them really changed the way I thought about them. So yes, let us get straight into the tag. So I studied a lot of different books while I was at school, you know, I did English at GCSE and A-level and that kind of thing. I realised that if you are not from the UK that probably doesn't mean that much to you. GCSEs are the exams you take when you're 16, A-levels are the exams you take when you're 18, so you have to do English when you're taking your GCSEs at 16, but for A-levels you do not have to do anything you have, like, you can do whatever subjects you want, basically. Anyway, so I did English for A-level and then I went on to do English Literature and History at university and then to do a Creative Writing Masters. So the way my university, Durham, worked was that you did six modules a year and because I was doing a history and English degree I basically did three history modules and three English modules every year. So my first year I did the three like core English modules which were introduction to poetry, introduction to the novel and introduction to drama. So introduction to poetry was all 17th century poetry which I didn't especially love. Introduction to drama was a brilliant module, one of the best ones I did at university. We studied quite a lot of playwrights, let me introduce you to some of them here. We studied Ibsen who is a playwright I absolutely love, we also studied Chekhov another one I love so much. We also studied Eugene O'Neill who is absolutely brilliant and possibly one of my favourite playwrights, possibly my favourite playwright other than Shakespeare. I might go so far as to say that, I've seen a few others of his plays as well as these two which I studied, not that I've seen um, The Ice Man Cometh but I have seen Long Day's Journey Tonight and I think he's just brilliant, like Long Day's Journey Tonight is just so powerful and amazing and just so so good. We also studied Arthur Miller, someone else I love, and Samuel Beckett who I have complicated feelings on and sort of love. We also studied Pinter but I don't love Pinter so I've got rid of those books and I'm not going to talk about them. That was one of my favourite modules that I did at university, it introduced me to a lot of dramatists that I hadn't really discovered before. I'm quite good on British literature but my knowledge of literature outside of Britain is sadly quite poor and my knowledge of American literature is sadly quite poor. The one bit of American literature that I do really love and have read a bit more of is drama from the first half of the 20th century. It's something I really love and think is just absolutely brilliant and that's partly to do with that module I did at university which was really cool. And the other module I did in my first year was introduction to the novel where we went through a lot of novels from Robinson Crusoe up to Midnight's Children. Basically we took seven novels from the history of literature written in the English language and kind of looked at how the novel changed as a form, which was really cool. I'm going to talk about one of the books we took in that module a bit later. Then in my second year at university I also did three English modules and three history modules. I did a module called Landscape and the Condition of England and in that module what we did was we studied like social critique novels from the 19th and 20th century in British literature which I found absolutely fascinating. I then also took a module on literary theory which I did not like and the other module I did in my second year which was another of my favourite favourite modules while I was at university was a module called post-war literature. So we did literature from 1945 onwards. It was just an absolutely fascinating module. We looked at so many brilliant books and it was that module really which you know, I'd always loved 19th century literature and I'd loved reading because I loved Victorian literature and I had read so much Victorian literature and a few odds and ends here and there of modern literature but that module was the first time I really discovered contemporary literary fiction and I discovered like Ishiguro. That module had such an impact on me, it was absolutely brilliant and such such a great module, really affected like my reading tastes. Like if I hadn't studied English at university I probably would have just carried on reading Victorian literature and I'm all for reading Victorian literature but there's a lot of other literature out there that I love as well. In my third year at university I did two history modules and technically four English modules but that was because my dissertation was a double module. So I did my dissertation on Dickens and then I had like two history modules and two English modules left and the two English modules that I did in my final year of university were a module on Victorian literature because it was on offer and it's Victorian literature of course why wouldn't I have? It was brilliant and I did discover some new authors through there like George Gissing who I'd never read before so that was really cool and I also did a module on the author Evelyn Waugh. Now I don't speak about Evelyn Waugh that much on this channel, I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with Evelyn Waugh like, I did a whole module on him and I find his work really interesting but I kind of at times hate it even though sometimes I also love it and Vile Bodies is one of my favourite books of all time but I have very complicated feelings about some of his other books it's like Scoop I just feel like very little for and then Bryce had Revisited and like Handful of Dust and stuff I, I'm not quite sure how I feel about them sometimes I love them and sometimes I hate them but it's just yeah complicated but it was a brilliant module it was really really great so yes 
that is my literature experience at university and those are the modules that I did. But now I just quickly want to talk about a few books and authors where studying them really like changed the way I saw the book because I thought that hopefully might be interesting. Right, let's try that shall we? First I feel I should mention Mansfield Park. So I love this novel so much. Mansfield Park is my second favourite Jane Austen novel and Jane Austen is my second favourite author so it's pretty high up there. But the first time I read this when I was 14 I didn't like it. I thought it was boring. I thought it was dull. I didn't find the characters that engaging and I didn't empathise or like get involved in the love story. I didn't like it. And then I studied it at university. I reread it when I was 18 or 19 and suddenly I just something changed and studying it, looking at the complexities of the moral issues Mansfield Park is dealing with, I suddenly loved it and now I love it so much and I think if I hadn't studied it at university, if I hadn't written essays on it and reread it like several times over to prepare for my exams, if I hadn't got like that close to it, I never would have like, I loved it as much, I wouldn't have discovered how much I adored it and how complicated a character Fanny is that you don't quite necessarily get on the first reading. I suddenly like fell in love with this book when I studied it and I think that's pretty cool. Another book where studying it really increased my love for the book was Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. I studied this at university in my third year but more importantly and I think the thing that had a greater impact on me was when I studied this at school for my A-levels when I was 18 and I have read this book so many times because I studied it and studying it and reading it so much and looking at like the intricacies of the language is just like brilliant. Like little things that you don't notice unless you study a book like the fact that the characters all their like exclamations and stuff and the way they talk about things are all supernatural like their language is filled with supernatural references which kind of gives the book this supernatural feel even though everything supernatural that occurs in Wuthering Heights can be explained and doesn't have to be supernatural but the fact that the supernatural stuff kind of goes through their language throughout is really cool and that's the kind of thing I wouldn't have noticed if I hadn't studied it and reread it again and again. This is the copy I use for my A-levels and it is just absolutely covered in notes like every page is just full of pencil and I feel kind of proud of that. But Wuthering Heights is one of my favourite novels of all time. Our mutual friend, Dombey and Son, The Thirteenth Tale, the whole of Anthony Powell's A Dance of the Music of Time series and then Wuthering Heights and I love it so much and I feel like studying it really enriched my impression of it especially because like the narrative structure is really odd and when you read it for the first time it's the story within a story and then there are some little stories within that story and at times you feel like why do we have to go through all these layers it's just confusing who is talking and then when you study it you come to realise the significance of that you know often you're seeing these characters through so many layers can you ever get to the truth of who the characters are when you're always seeing them through these many layers of vision that kind of stuff is really cool and what when you first read the novel feels like a slightly messy plot device when you read it more and you come to study it you realise the significance of it and that is really cool and I loved studying this it was great it was so good I also have to say all of Dickens I love Dickens a lot you all know this by now I don't need to tell you again how much I love Dickens but I've studied Dickens a lot I wrote an essay on Dickens when I was at school so in the A-level course I did you got two free choice essays for your coursework where you could write on whatever you liked so I wrote one on North and South and then I wrote another essay which was comparing Armitage Friend by Charles Dickens and The Way We Live Now by Anthony Trollope I then studied Dickens a lot at university I studied nine out of 14 of his novels while I was at university seven in my dissertation and two or three elsewhere I just I love studying Dickens because you get to look even closer and you get to know the book so well you get to know all the characters because one thing I love about studying a book is normally when I'm studying a book at university or school I mean I haven't studied something for a while for exams but my revision would be to reread the book like three or four times and then you get to know something so well and I love that feeling you know when I was 18 I had quotes in my head from Wuthering Heights like so many of them that I could just rattle off because I needed them to be memorized for exams and I love that familiarity with a book that you get through studying it you know it's not just about looking closely at a book and seeing all the deep intricate things and reading lots of stuff into it it's also just about really knowing a book like that familiarity is lovely I love that and I love that I have that with Dickens through studying so many of his books. Another three books that I think I love all the more for having studied them are books that I did in that 1945 onwards, that post-war literature module, and these three books are the Golden Notebook by Doris Lessing, Remains of the Day by Kazuo Ishiguro, and Jonathan Coe's What a Carver. I love all of these books and they're kind of complicated books I want to say. They're all books with interesting plot structures and interesting characters and language and the more you study them the more interesting you realise they are. What a Cover is quite an odd book and I think through studying it and through reading it like several times in preparation for my exams I kind of really came to appreciate the strangeness of it and what it was trying to do because it's quite a complicated odd postmodern novel and I think its narrative structure, the use of kind of parody and pastiche and that kind of thing is really clever and really interesting and I'm so glad that I studied it because I think if I'd have just read it and not studied it I might have been bemused 
and less enthralled than I was perhaps, I don't know. I wrote an essay comparing Reigns of the Day and The Golden Notebook and the essay I wrote on these two in my second year, one of the essays I really enjoyed writing was about like truth and fiction and whether the purpose of the novel is to like expose truth or whether it is to like console you and that was a really fun thing to do an essay on especially with these two novels both of which deal a lot with kind of truth and the possibility of telling the truth because in the reigns of the day we have a narrator who is unreliable and lying to themselves as well as to us and then in the golden notebook we have a narrator who is dividing her life into sections different aspects of her life she writes about in different diaries in different colored notebooks she's trying to like fragment herself into all these pieces because she can't find a way to tell the truth about herself and that's just fascinating and it was such a brilliant thing to study it was so good I really enjoyed it I think basically what I've been trying to say in this tag video is that I really love studying literature at university and I think studying books can really enrich your experience of them at the same time there are books that I have liked less because I've studied them something like Enduring Love which I didn't like very much when I read it and the fact that I had to therefore study it at A level made me hate it even more the same I think can be said of Dracula the first time I read it I didn't hate it and then I read it again and I was like hang on a second and then I read it again and again and again because I was doing it for my exams and the more I read it the more I came to loathe it so much for so many different reasons most of which are to do with the presentation of women and gender and all of that stuff but also I just didn't like it as a book the more I read it and I think if I hadn't studied it my impression of it would not be quite so strong and angry at the same time there are so many books where studying them has really enriched my experience of them and made me like them more and made me kind of appreciate them more all in all I really enjoyed studying English literature at university and I know for some people they say that studying books can ruin them for them but for me I think because I, I enjoy reading in a kind of analytical way anyway studying books for me can really make them can really like enrich my experience of them and I, I think it's no coincidence that you know just after I'd left university about six months after I'd left university I put on my blog a list of my favorite 25 novels of all time and a lot of them are books that I studied at university I think because I, I really love studying books as well and even when I read now like one of the nice things about doing booktube or doing my blog and writing book reviews and talking about books on the internet is that I can talk about them in a way that's not quite an essay it's not as formal as that it's not as formal as studying it but it's still picking apart a book in a slightly different way that I wouldn't necessarily do if I didn't have somewhere to talk about books in that manner basically yes I like studying books books are good that's pretty much all. I think I'd better tag a couple of people to talk about their experiences of studying literature at university or elsewhere. I'm going to tag Leanne Rose and I'm going to tag Claire Quigley and I would like to thank Claire from Books and Questions for tagging me because I had really good fun doing this tag and talking about studying literature because I enjoyed studying literature very much. Please let me know down in the comments if you studied literature at school or at university and what your experiences of it was. I am very interested to know. I will see you very soon with another video. In the meantime, happy reading.